year marks the 30th anniversary of the American College of Cardiology Foundation and Merck's fellowship program. Since it began in 1981, the program has been an iconic opportunity for young cardiovascular research investigators. To date, the ACCF and Merck have honored more than 150 physicians and scientists with the fellowship award. Over the past few months, the ACC has assembled key leaders and past awardees of the program to speak about how influential this 30-year partnership is to the cardiovascular community. To further celebrate this partnership, we are now joined by Dr. Luther Clark, the Global Director for Merck Scientific Affairs. Dr. Clark, thank you for being here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure being with you. Talk a little bit about the history of this program. Well, as you mentioned, uh, this year we're celebrating the 30 years of the ACC Foundation Merck Fellowship Program and the more than 150 young cardiology trainees who have been honored. This is an important award because it provides assistance to these young researchers at a pivotal time in their careers and it encourages them to pursue careers in research and academia. In terms of the history, I think one important uh, milestone note is that so many of the award recipients have gone on to become very distinguished leaders in academia and cardiology and in major medical societies such as the American College of Cardiology. So talk about why the program is so important to Merck. Well, this is an important program for Merck for several reasons. Uh, one, it aligns uh, very well with Merck's research mission to discover and develop novel medicines and vaccines uh, to address major unmet medical needs. And this is done through rigorous research, investigation, and questioning. Also, it's consistent with Merck's commitment to fostering the development of future leaders in science and biomedical research. So I would imagine that you have your eye on a lot of these very promising young researchers. Do you try to reel them into the Merck program at some point? Well, absolutely. We have a large number of scientists. Merck itself is involved in discovery and development. And where possible, it, we'd be delighted to recruit them to be uh, members of our own research team. What are the future goals of ACCF and the Merck program? Well, I think there are a couple of things. Uh, one, it's important to keep in mind that even though there have been major advances uh, in cardiology recently, uh, cardiovascular disease still remains the leading cause of death in the United States and uh, worldwide. We know that these young uh, clinician scientists will become the leaders of tomorrow and will play critical roles in developing uh, new advances for the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Now, we also know that professors and clinicians who are well trained in research are a major asset both to their patients and the cardiology community, but also to uh, society uh, at large. So Merck is very proud of those individuals who receive these awards. We look forward to continuing to encourage young investigators to pursue careers in academia and in their research. Is there something about these young investigators that makes them different? I mean, you talk about cardiovascular disease and how it is still the number one killer. Is there something different or cutting edge about these people that are coming up through the ranks that give you hope that this is going to be conquered at some point? Well, there's always hope, uh, but it's a tremendous challenge. I think that the recipients of these awards have been tremendously talented uh, individuals, and that is reflected by looking at the history of those uh, recipients over the 30 years that this program has existed and the number of things that they've done. Uh, there have been a number of significant discoveries and observations by these individuals that have improved patient care. Some of these are truly uh, groundbreaking. So I, I think the award and the recipients uh, come together in an important way because at a time when the individuals may be pulled toward clinical medicine, but they have a passion for research, this support has often been a key in helping them make that decision to pursue this career in academia and research. And to the extent that we can do that, I think we're making a major contribution to the future of cardiovascular medicine and its leadership. Dr. Clark, thanks so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. It's really appreciate having you here. For those of you interested in finding out more about the awards program, just visit the awards website at cardiosource.org forward slash Merck. I'm Lisa Fletcher for the American College of Cardiology Foundation. Thanks for joining us.